Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today we're in the pro fours back here at Crandon full last time we ran this we were in second split but this time we are the last number here in top split so I will take it we got Lindy out here Scott we got Gavin out here Rob didn't make it unfortunately he's probably second split because me and him were second split last time a few weeks ago when we ran here we won it when we ran it in second split but there's no way we're winning it now with Lindy and stuff in here Scott ended up getting new pedals and he just ran the SK race on the controller don't know if he's gonna be running this race on the controller or not so we will see but uh hopefully we can have a nice good race and uh hopefully we can qualify all right and uh we don't hit anything so we can actually get a time because that that ends up messing me up in these a lot on qualifying so hopefully we have a nice clean lap for our qualifying all right we're coming around to the green flag here hopefully we can have a good lap try and set it up here because you don't really have time to reset and go to the pits because you have to do a full out lap already so hopefully we do all right on our laps here. Try not to screw them up and get any zero X's. I'm staying away from that wall just in case. Kind of slowed down a little early, but it's all right. Didn't get a good launch on the exit of that. Kind of slid out way too much. I think we could still have a decent lap though. Got to like just super diamond that and get like a run on the exit. It's so weird. Then this massive sin that we're going to have to do off the uh, land rush here on the right. A little too sideways. Then send it left. That actually felt like a good corner there. This corner always gets me. This is such a weird corner to me. I don't know how to fully do this one yet. And then take this on the inside, but not too far inside to where we don't hit the wall. That was a terrible corner. Eighteen six. That was terrible. That was a really bad lap. And I'm already screwed up the second lap to start with, so that's good. Try not to slide out here. Kind of slid out still. So far we have pull, but not fast. We have gone there. There's some of that wit. I feel like this lap could still be better because I really messed up the last like bit of it. But I really messed up the beginning bit of it on this one. That was better. A little sketchy, but we're fine pretty clean this this corner is just the one I don't fully understand I know you kind of need a diamond it try to take this one more inside this time much better that should be faster, I think, because the end of it. No, it was in 119.1. So, yeah, that was not very good. But, hey, we're the lowest car number here. I can't be mad about whatever we get because we're, we're the final car. So, kind of small splits. Uh, William got new pedals. He got them working. Uh, but uh, so far, we're starting right in the middle of the field. But it's a land rush, so we're just going to be in the middle of everybody sitting in a row, which is going to be absolutely wild. The start of this race is always crazy. All right, we're getting ready to go here. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to try a different uh, starting strat that I saw Thad do. It's just like first gear and go. Green flag. That actually works so well. That's crazy because we actually got clean out here. And we just have the fast guys on the inside. And somehow we did get a 2x, which is fine. But hell of a start. That first gear thing. Oh, I'm going to kill Lindy. Nope, we're good. I was bicycling there. I did not get it turned in. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> we fell last so fast. Land rush is nuts, but hey, we had a great start there. I'll take that. We got damage on the Sky got moved back, it looks like. Oh, somebody's almost flipping there. 
They're all almost hidden. Right. Hello? Jesus. Clear. We had no room on the exit of that. That guy went around. Sorry about that, but... I had no room to uh, go any more right. I do feel like we are a little quick. So I'm hoping we can work our way back up. Jesus, that thing is so scary. We're already halfway to getting DQ'd, which is rough. <laughs> I've never been DQ'd out of a race, so I'm hoping now is not the time, but you never know. Anything could happen. I wouldn't even be mad because these things are so damn sensitive with the X's. Like, all I did was, like, bump draft that dude. That was it. Thought I was going to run into that. I thought I was going to land on that dude, so I was, like, off throttle and everything, which is not normal for that. I know Gavin takes this last corner a lot different than we do. So I think that cut down definitely quicker. Try and get under him here. Try and beat Gavin at all costs. If we can. I was hoping I can get to his left side there because he slid out really far, but we did not have a good uh, exit off that at all. Oh, no, Jesus. I'm like fully on brakes there. There's no stopping that car. Because when I'm fully on brakes like that, too, I can't turn left. They just go straight. I'm going to end up DQing out of this damn race. It's going to be rough. It's in my own damn fault. I've caused most of them. Oh, geez, my whole seat just moved. Whoops. My seat was not locked where it was. I, I slid back some. <laughs> oh, that was not the line for sure. I turned in like early. Somebody, I think, just went off to the left here. No, nope, they corrected it. They're fine. Something in front of us. I don't know what happened. I had such a good land rush start and then screwed up the first jump immediately. Like, we were in such a good position, and then I screwed that up. Try and get a low straight off exit. That was better. It looks like sliding out kind of is faster. Okay, interesting. Good to know, because I'm falling off of them from that. Either that or my damage on the car, I don't fucking know. Oh god, Gavin took like such a uh low lane. Was not expecting that. Because you really want to, like, diamond that thing to get the speed on the exit. It's so weird. Don't know what we contacted there, but we sure did. That was a good jump. I wasn't going to hold you up too much longer there. I'm guessing that's Lindy. No, yep. Good. I mean, I wasn't even trying to throw a slider there, but I just thought you kind of check up. I was like, all right, I'm just going to go for it. So Lindy's got the lead. Hell yeah. Yeah. Let's go, I, Lindy. I'm not really feeling great and comfortable. I don't really want to hold you too much up, so I just figured it'd be easier just to maybe learn from you. 119.7 is our fastest lap right now? Oh, boy. That ain't looking good when that's our fastest lap. I just still have never been able to figure out how to really drive these, especially when it's wet. I guess they're talking about like how muddy the track is right now, I guess. Something like that. Turn. I think did not want to go left at all. Guy behind us is definitely catching. It seems like a little bit. That's unfortunate for us because he's probably not happy with me, but you know, we were like three, four wide there and nobody wants to give an inch in these, so I'm not going to give one either. You kind of can't.
Still learning in these though, doing the best we can. I think we come back to Crandon full one more time in the season or two more or something like that. Either one or two more times, I'm not sure. So we'll learn more and more the more times we come back to places, which is good. Oh, I got the wall. I did exactly what Gavin did in the Crandon short against us when he was trying to like get by us. Except it didn't turn me fully. Oh, that's a 2x? Really? Oh, come on. I'm going to X out of this race. 100%. I These cars are so damn fragile. They really are. We're halfway in this race and I'm going to X out of it. Oh, I'm going to lose so much safety rating in these things. It's definitely rough how fragile these things are with getting 2x's. But it'll be the, it'll, it'll definitely be the first time I X out of a race. I've done so many damn races on iRacing and I never X'd out of one. I, and this being one of the first ones, or this being the first one, it is what it is. I'm hoping I can survive it to the end. I just got to be really careful around other cars, but any little bump is going to DQ me probably. I'm like the same speed as Gavin and the guy in front of him right now, which sucks too. It's like passing them is going to be even harder. Like you would have to beat and bang to get by by each other when we're all the same speed. So I got to stay away from that wall to not get any X's. Now we're coming up to the real tight turn that's sketchy. And that guy behind still catching us, so. Oh, they're almost spinning out up here. Gavin trying to take a real shallow approach, which is interesting. I don't think that's uh, proper for that corner. <laughs> he's just trying not to run into the dude in front of him, I guess. I don't know how many X's he's at at all. Holy crap, I did a wheelie. I think because I let off the throttle, my car started like fogging backwards like in the air or something. I don't know. That was weird. Gets really tough to see when that happens. <laughs> Trying to use the uh, dirt on the track to see where everybody's running in that corner. The car in one. Just the bus well. Lindy's just putting down heaters. Per usual. Even if we finish 10th in this from DQ and I'm not even gonna be mad about it. Like I said, it is my fault already being this many X's, <laughs> but these cars are also super fragile, which I feel like half these X's shouldn't have happened anyways. It's so poor. Jeez, Gavin. Like, I can't even get into that corner correctly because of it. Because he's taking it so shallow. No, don't. I can't get any X's. I'm going to X out. Because we had the run on him, but I literally can't do anything about it. Because if I get a 2X, I'm going to DQ out. Getting that grip on this outside lane, that actually felt really good. Guy behind is definitely catching. He's only less than a second up behind now. Probably gonna either DQ from me hitting Gavin or the nine hitting us, one of the two. These are more damn, fr well, let me rephrase this. They're not more fragile than the super late models. They're fra they're more fragile with the how how you get the X's, but cuz the car is durable as hell. Like the fenders will fall off, but the car is fine. The car is completely fine. It's just the way you get X's is super fragile. The super late model is fragile in a way where you're going to break your right front or rip the spoiler off very easy. Different kind of fragiles. 
because the super late model is rough with that. Not close enough to that wall. Coming up to two laps to go. Shocked we've made it this far, honestly. The car in three, one. Just hit the Blindy lap. hitting more fast laps. I still don't know if like second through that corner is better or third. I really don't know. It seems like third might be a little bit better. I wonder if the fenders coming off the car affect like its speed and stuff. I have no clue. Okay, I know Gavin slows up hard as hell for this corner. I need to try not to hit him. Yep, there we go. Yep, that's how you that's how you avoid it. <laughs> I about freaking go head on into the wall trying to avoid him. It is so tough. It is the hardest thing to do and going into that corner to not run somebody over. Cause you have to like go into that corner super hard and i did not get that thing rotated you have to go into that corner super hard to go to the top and kind of like arc it back down and i haven't been able to do it like the entire race because of how close we are to gavin and the guy in front of him white flag time. oh my god we're gonna see the white flag lindy's still hitting faster laps If we make it to the checkered, I'm going to be shocked. Like, I'm shocked we've made it to the white flag, honestly. Okay, hopefully Gavin doesn't take the inside. Cause that out, see, like, when he goes all the way outside like that, they have so much more momentum, it's crazy. I just had to try to do that to not run in the back of him, but also still get our car turned nice and easy for the most part. Maybe somebody will screw up here in the last couple corners trying to go for a position. I need to go back and look at that land rush though, because we had such a good land rush. It was crazy. Good race, Gavin. Yep, good race there, Cody. Gavin's going to the inside. Oh, he messes it up a little bit. Good oh, race. no, it's going to be a 2x. Oh, no, we're good. We didn't get a 2x. We're good. We survived it. <laughs> we don't DQ. We don't DQ somehow. I will take it. Hell yeah. I'm just happy we didn't DQ out of the race. That was awesome. Because <laughs> I was at a 10x for half of that race. That was ridiculous. And our car wasn't even that beat up. Like, literally not at all. I thought I was going to hit the side of Gavin there. I had to nail the brake to not hit him right there. That was ridiculous. But I want to go back to the start of this thing and see the land rush. Because we had a hell of a start on everybody. Like, we were with the guys who were super fast, honestly. Like, we had as good of a start as the quick guys. Like, I think I was slightly ahead of Lindy. We just qualified bad. And I went super wide in this corner. I don't know where we got a 2x. I guess from the 4 behind us. I don't know. But we barely tapped. All together. It wasn't that much. And then I really screwed up that corner. That was awful. Like, I really messed that one up. I didn't, I didn't get the car rotated. I'm holding left. But did not get the car rotated at all. Almost bicycled over. It was crazy, and then we were just in the back back here, and then everybody was like four wide into this final corner. And then I end up turning the nine here, but we were, like I said, we were freaking four wide here coming to the line. Like, there's not much places we can go. Maybe almost five wide. Actually, no, he, we were only two wide. He was just, I was sliding out for sure. Okay, I was definitely sliding out, but I thought we were also three, four wide, so 
not a whole lot uh, to do besides hit the brakes there. So that's 100% on me. But uh, yeah, this was a ridiculous race. Definitely ran into the back of multiple people. Especially going in this corner. Like, I literally was just pushing this guy. Like, I was like almost on his bumper. Just pushing him. That's a 2x. Like, our car was completely fine there. That should not have been a 2x. And it was just so many 2x's there. So, that race was ridiculous. We finished ninth. I'm just happy we survived. Gonna lose some I rating. So, let's go see what we end up getting. Lindy does get the win. And Scott ends up finishing third with his new pedals. Hell yeah. Well, we end up losing 30. That's not too bad. The strength of field was 3,300. It was a really... Decent strength of field for a dirt road race, I would say, because uh, the car number one finished second. He gained 15. Lindy gains a good 50 from that. That's awesome. He had a good race there. Uh, William or Scott ends up getting 30 out of that. Very, very good. Literally, the, the top numbers were in the top besides the five car, and then the bottom half had the bottom half numbers. So that's just how this race went. It was uh, pretty hectic. Oh, I hit the mic. Sorry. I definitely had the most incidents. I had 10 incidents on lap uh, five, and I got the last two X from hitting that berm. Like half of our X's, I think literally six of my X's were barely tapping somebody that I don't think should be a two X. So that's kind of annoying or tapping that wall because like that wall mound thing barely touched that thing. And that's a two X too. So we kind of got screwed over with the X's, but it is what it is. How much uh, safety did I end up losing? 0.3. Oh no, we're almost down to under a two. That is rough. I need to have some clean races, but it's tough to have clean races in these things when uh, you're back in the pack like that it's really tough to have some clean races so it is what it is hopefully you guys enjoyed appreciate you guys for watching as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one